and I guess the, the question too is when will it rebound Bouchon we take a look at you know the, the hospitality or the leisure sector they're still down more than a million jobs yeah, and, and as Julia mentioned, we saw record quit rates again on Friday, 4.4 million kind of leaving, and a number of those in leisure and hospitality, and a number of job gains in leisure and hospitality. So I think we're still in for, you know, vaccine mandates as a condition of employment may help some feel much more safe. Um, the, the more embracing of hybrid work by a lot of employers and flexibility being here to stay um, is there. I think, again, the real challenge is how do we get people back to the workforce, whether that's people who've retired too early because of fears of safety, whether that's caregivers, whether that's different ethnicities. If we think about the black unemployment population, it's significantly higher than the rest. So the more firms can start to bring people back, look at creative sources for their hiring, look at reskilling for those industries that have been affected and those businesses that are growing, whether it's be green businesses, climate businesses, you know, growth as we see hospitality is back. I mean, business travel will never get back to where it was, Elizabeth, but we're seeing much more of an uptick around global and domestic travel and a resumption of entertainment. So do you think businesses have just changed really how they do business and that need for in-person connection can be done over Zoom? Bush on to you, sorry. Not not completely. I think what we're, uh, what we've highlighted for those businesses that can, they're going to continue to give people the choice. Um, in the latest jobs report, we've seen work from home is at an all-time low. It's 11.6 of the U.S. workers that are actually working from home. So many more companies are out there in a physical workplace. Many more people are meeting, whether it's one to three days a week with clients and colleagues here in the U.S. and, and around the world. So I think businesses are trying to say, what's the culture and what is the culture around connection and especially around young people who have never been in a physical workforce or those people that really do need to collaborate or frankly those leaders who are much more comfortable with their teams in the office it's got to be done safely but that human connection is so important and again in our consumer lives as we get into holiday season and as we reconnect with our family here in the u.s around around holidays i think that human connection has never been more important